Should we play some games? <laughs> Hi guys, hello everyone. I'm joined. Whoa. I'm joined. You guys have joined me on my Star Trek Online escapades. I'm just sorting out. Uh, oh god, what am I playing with here? No, I'm playing with the wrong thing. Oh uh, no. No, there you're playing go. with power. That's what you're playing, playing with. Playing with our images on the screen to make it a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Look at that. There, there we go, lad. Right, yes. Um, I don't know why I went Scottish there. Uh, yes, welcome. We're going to play some uh, Star Trek Friend. Uh, hello, Rainbow Bright. Good to see you. Good to see you in chat. Um, yes, we're going to play some Star Trek Online, and I'm joined by you guys this evening. You come of, came and uh, dropped in out of, out of the blue. How are we? How was your week? How was your timelines talkless week? Did you cope? Wait, what? What did we miss? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank fair, you, it's for the bits. Uh, It's not been timeless, talkless because I've been hanging out with Auto a fair bit. We've been doing a lot of fake crew like That's workshopping true, yes. and and hanging out and being we're general cool guys draw. without you because yeah, yeah. we're the cool kids. Um, I never yeah. said I was cool. <laughs> So PG thirteen rating, but since Kangaroo brought it up, um, toward the send Putin a bag of dicks. On. Uh, if you're an American football fan, the team where I grew up in New York have a tradition of throwing a dildo out onto the field. <laughs> so whenever the rival team is there, they'll throw mm -hmm. dicks out onto the field. And it made me think. Of it. <coughs> Anyways, okay. <laughs> So, if you guys um, just uh, just got home and are popping in, go check out the Discord. We have the vote up for oh, yes. our charity stream yes. in about a month. Looking forward to that. Please, 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 please go and look at that. Yeah, go go and put, throw your vote in whether which charity you want us to support. Uh, we've had a couple of requests for people say, oh, do, do you, you know, do you want to support a Ukrainian charity? We're kind of holding fire on that for a bit because say charity streams not till April the sixth. So if it gets to a bit closer and you know the situation hasn't changed, April then the third. April. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. April 3rd, sorry. I don't know why I've got 6th in my head. But anyway, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll discuss it near the time, and there might be something we change to. We'll see. Um, anyway, yes, we're here to play some Star Trek Online again, uh, and I've got some packs to open, because I went and bought oh, some keys. I'm, I'm so shocked. <laughs> you degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to find a Star Trek game, I'm going to find some way of making it... Yeah, making it packable. Packable? Is that a word? Packable. So... Anyway, here's this handsome fella. Oh, I'm glad that the frame rate never improved. Ah, <laughs> uh, that might just be because I'm sharing screen on like about it's... three different places. So <laughs> yeah, through Discord it's a little slow, but it's fine to the stream. Yeah, okay. This is, yeah. Because I, I remember I'm... it being a little bit crunchy and a little bit crunky no. when I was playing it on PS4. So I've yeah, I've not had a problem with it. I've not had a problem. Hang on, I need to get Rocky Balhorter out. There he is. And my pet oh, hot horter. He's a hot horter coming through. <laughs> So if you get a bad luck streak here, what's the equivalent of uh, opening credit packs to refresh the luck? I have no idea. I, um, have to, I, I think you have what, to come up with some kind of ritual. So, so speaking to someone in the junkie saying you've got to find an instance in the server that's quite full. People say you've got to be an Earth space stock here and find find a good popular instance. So maybe I will. And there is a way of changing instance on here, and I don't know where it is. Uh, bear with me. If someone is it the map button? Is it on the map button? I think so. Hang on, up here. Big map. Well, uh, change instance. You are right, my friend. Let's see. What's the most so popular what are we one? Opening packs? What are we opening packs in, in search of? Uh, uh, well, we've oh. got. I've got these infinity packs. So basically, I was wow. moving stuff across from my other account onto this one because I'm, I'm abandoning that one for this one. And I thought, oh, I've got 66 infinity packs. So I, I got. 10 keys with um, what Zen I had, and then I've just bought it. I mean, this is really stupid. This is the stupid... I've already been told this is the stupid thing you should do in this game. You shouldn't open packs. And I was just like, well, I'm fuck, I'm going to do it. Because <laughs> I'm not even level 65. I'm level 33, and I'm opening packs. But the idea... I, I think the plan is I would like to get a one of those tier, tier 6 ships. Um, well, yeah, because yeah. uh, if you get a ship, then that's not locked to level. That's just, like, that's good forever, no. essentially. And I've already got a tier 6 ship at the moment, because they did a giveaway, uh, which kind of is what got me back into the game. They said, here's a free tier 6 token, help yourself to one of these. So, um, yeah, so I got myself a nice little Prometheus and sort of loaded it up with whatever I can find. Uh, but, yeah, there's some other stuff that you can... You see, Star Trek Online is a bit shit. It's kind of worse than 
timelines <laughs> in some ways. In some, no, it is. I mean, these are all these are all free to play games. There is trash everywhere, but like, <laughs> there are ships you can only get through these lock boxes. They are only available 0.5% yeah. of the time. Where there's no like retrieval system, there's no just buying it with currency. Like like you know, at least when timelines you wait long enough, you can retrieve them from the portal, but just hard cash. You just buy. As it I recall, yeah, some of the ships that are locked in there are like the, the Kelvin Enterprise. Yeah. The Discovery Enterprise is locked in there. Yeah. I believe the Discovery A from season three is locked in there's there. There's a lot of the season three Everything you'd really want is in there. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I think the the advantage is though that when you do on un you unlock, you basically say it unlocks you unlock a tier six ship and then you get to pick which one you want which is a little bit of a plus so you don't just get a random draw and go oh shit i got the gem hadar warship i don't want that but yeah it's still a crappy system but i'm gonna try yeah. and see what we can do with this crappy system let's a... talk in more opening more Come opening on. well you know you just gotta look around but hey do um, it monkey dance I'm, I'm very... i want the 37 rusted out red ford ship do i'm they just have that in game I'm... Oh, i imagine so very disappointing you haven't commented on my snazzy uniform I and mean, look at this Look at that. Is that I mean, it's alright. It's, it's a right. style. It's a style in Dude, you're, you are built. I, I know. Well, it had to be. You know, you know, you know, you got to project yourself in the games, haven't you? The true person. Well, it's not really very are. accurate re <laughs> recreation. It's got hair. I oh. had hair once. This oh. is me about twenty years ago, maybe. <laughs> Idols like, oh, Discord's acting up. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, but... kick these guys out. Oh, weird. We have to go to the other system again. No, oh, you can't come in. Oh, what a shame. All right, let's open some packs. Let's let's do this. Let's see what happens. I have no idea if this is a good idea. Probably not. But oh well, <laughs> here we go. Uh, so I've got thirty keys, thirty packs. Let's go. We are getting. All right, let's see. So special uh, equipment pack. Was it Delta Expedition lame. kit? Is that lame? Is it? Oh, you, you're the expert. So. That, yeah, no, that's like. Um, I think you can sometimes get rare, like like uh, ground combat stuff. Like I remember, I got. I think it was like the Guardian of Forever would pop out and shoot a giant death laser at people. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> What but that I? was a really lucky drop, so I think that's kind of okay, that's your okay. equivalent of a uh, that's your EV suit two vog. Right. right. So that you get a drop, you get a random drop from the box to get another random drop, which also might be mm -hmm. shit. <laughs> but you also got so you don't know if you saw you get low buy crystals times twenty five, oh, and yeah. those can be exchanged for special items. Oh, that's And the most good. expensive item, I'm not sure if this is still true. When I was playing, I I get to the lobby well, I think it was somewhere. like. 2,500 low buy, and you could get the Wrath of Khan Expeditionary Jacket, like the red and I've got white, that. Uh, cream. I actually have that uh, on my account. I think I got that when I first started the game. Because I, I basically yeah. started at launch, and they put that in there. So I do actually have that. It's on my other account. So I don't yeah, know. I think it was a special thing you could get at launch, yeah. or it was a thing you could buy from the low buy store for extortionate prices. Wow. Okay, let's open another. Okay, a kit module. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Not what you want, but nope. let's see. A reinforcements <laughs> duty officer pack. Nah. Yeah. Now that that's your that's your grey crew right there. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> yeah, that's duty officers are a whole thing. It's basically sending those, shuttles. Are those actually color coded by rarity then? I think so. Yes. So I think the standards, so, yeah. common, uncommon. I think that's like rare. And that's. I think yeah. ever since Diablo, they they everyone has just adopted a system of scaling yeah, yeah. rarity. Who's that guy? He's green. Okay. He's occasion, I think. Occasion. Oh, research and development pack. Well, that's uh, R and D materials. I mean, I've got fucking shitloads. Yeah, of that allows you to create stuff. I I looked at that interface and I was like, this looks too complicated and boring. I'm not interested. I've, I've seen. I've, yeah, I've been into it a bit. You can upgrade stuff that you've got, like your weapons, and yeah, there's a way you do it and there's a way you don't do it. That's something I need to look into it. All right, let's go. Where yeah. are we? Okay, next one. 100 fleet marks bonus uh, pool. Now that is trash. I have heard. You basically yeah, that is trash. Yeah, twenty percent more fleet marks. I think you can sell these on for a good amount of credits, which you can buy. For an extra fleet, they're worthwhile, but I imagine you're not. All right, mm. do we need to to clean the pipes? Okay, mix uh, up our luck a little bit. Shall I go for? A I lap? imagine you go to Romulus and you commit genocide. That's how you. Okay, let's go for a lap. Let's have a little lap. Let's go and splash in some water. Let's purify the soul. Purify the soul in this water. We'll go. We'll go stare at this Oberth class. Look at that. That is a beautiful ship. Actually, no, it's not. I don't really like the Oberth class, but I like the Oberth. In in, in in size comparison, like it's it's quite. Oh look, it's one of those. That's a disco ship. Yeah, down there. Oberon. Yes. Oh no, it's the McGee class. Wherever. Oh, is, that's yeah. right. Yes, that's a Lacero ship, isn't it? Or Lacero. Mm. And what we got over there? Oh, it's a Pasteur and Prometheus, maybe. I think so, yeah. Yeah. And that looks and like. I think that's Odyssey. Yeah, I think that's the Odyssey class there. 
don't know what's behind. No, I can't see. All right. Let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's stare out into the wonder of all these ships and hopefully it will grant us a ship. Right, let's go. Next one. Uh, personal, yeah. oh, personal trait. Could be interesting. So I get another trait for my account. There could be new, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what these are. Trait, big spender, ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Next one, next one. Zindi duty officer, ooh. Uh, yeah. Like... Well, I mean, it's purple, so they're probably better at most things, but it's still, okay. it's still a duty officer. But which Zindi? Be interesting. Uh, probably going to be reptilian or arboreal. Mm -hmm. mm, arboreal. All right. Mm. Uh, a Ferengi uh. privateer cadre. Oh, Christ. <laughs> what the fuck is? Yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Dude, I don't, do I don't know shit about this game, and even I know you're striking out. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, special... Oh, Borg Combat Structure Kits. That sounds interesting. Random level appropriate Borg Combat Structure Kit. Right, so you're going to want to not open that for a while, because yeah, it's level appropriate. If it's level appropriate, I want to wait till I'm 65, so that probably won't take too mm. long. Okay, let's go in. There's nothing here but life. Let's go. <gasps> Thank you, Cranky. <laughs> Dilithium mining claim. Um, VIP class. That's okay. Because you can basically go and do mining for dilithium and then refine it to get the actual, the other premium currency. Okay. And this allows you to get more of it, but you still have to do a shitty mini game. Wonderful. Love me a shitty mini game. So, as a long time uh, MMO RPG player, does this mean it's going to clutter up all your inventory slots and you're going to. Oh yeah. Oh, being yeah. crew slot hell. Okay. <laughs> he does at least have a bank, I know. Yeah, yeah that's pretty full at the moment, but use. yeah, I'll I'll, yeah. I'll clear some shit out for this. Research assignment: Terran Empire research. Any idea? This item contains diesel. Then duty officers on a sick. That seems like garbage. Oh, and I'm more yeah, do more duty officer shit, which is basically. Shuttles. You want a slightly better shuttle? Yeah, like. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Infinity Prize Pack, Cross Faction Console, or Sandwich Console. That could be quite useful, actually. Yeah, because consoles can be something really unique. Like, they can be something boring, like fire or torpedoes, or they can be I summon a photonic fleet of fake ships to help attack that somehow yeah. have working phases. They can, they can okay. really run the gamut. I might open that one in a bit. Right, let's go. Oh, it's a tier 5 Ooh. ship. I got Nick excited there. Uh... <laughs> it's a tier 5 ship, not tier 6. Oh, what is it? Let's see. What, shall I open the tier 5 ship? Yeah, go for okay, it. Okay, okay, let's you do You need this. some good news, God That's knows. very true, that's very true. Can you so... briefly explain to me tier of ship tiers? No. <laughs> okay. I think tier so, five, there's tier five, there's tier six. Like, tier f like you get go through the ranks so, when you're lieutenant, you get to pick a ship. When you're uh, command, you pick a ship. When you're captain, you pick a ship. But then there's like the end game ships, which are tier five and tier six. And basically tier six are the be all end all. With And they have different yeah, consoles, yeah. different crew you can assign to them. But I think this will... I need to check. Let's check some wikiing because... Um, uh, Star Trek. This is this is fantastic gameplay. It's what you really want to tune in for, isn't it? <laughs> Tier 5 ships. I mean, it is representative of what it feels like to play an MMO. Yeah, this, this is it. Down. Oh, Christ. Do you know what? We should just go in. We should just go in and do this at random. Right, yeah. let's go. Because I get to choose. We need okay. David Attenborough narrating this. Like... Uh... <laughs> So I'm right, the... now they're not named properly. No. So... I want Federation. I don't want none of this. Oh, these are all Mirror Universe, Kazon, APU Cruiser. I don't know what that is. Oh, I had that. That's like a spiky shit thing. It's not a Federation. Okay, there's no Federation stuff here, so I'm very disappointed. So well, I'm there's like... Mirror Universe ones, which are going to be Federation ships with a different paint job. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Now, as I recall... Assault Cruiser, I think, is like Prometheus or something like that. Or maybe Sovereign. Hmm. I believe Deep Space Science Vessel is either Intrepid or an, uh, Pasteur. I wish they come with a picture. Of... That's... I don't want to have to check the wiki. This is. Do you want me to check what they are? Yes, please. Yeah, let's have a quick look at it. And I wouldn't... Okay, so Star Cruiser, like yeah? Universe ones. Yeah, the, the Infinity... This will be the Infinity Pack tier, tier 5 ships. We oh, can get a mail on battle cruiser and go spread some like just shit around. Yeah, the star cruiser is ugly. Um, let's okay. see, assault cruiser. What's that? Apparently, the ship is currently packed and can be traded in this state, <laughs> so it's ready in the box, box fresh. Ah, there you go. Okay, yeah. So assault cruiser is the sovereign. Oh, okay. Uh, deep space science vessel. There you 
Oh, that's the Luna class, actually. Ooh, I had that on my other account, I think. Oh, I think the Heavy Cruiser Retrofit, is that not the... Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, no, it tells you here, hang on. Deep Space Mirror Science includes version of the Luna, the Solar Polaris, so that's Luna. Ah, uh, yeah. That one is... Trident. Trident Destiny. That was kind of ugly looking, I don't okay. think you'd like it. Advanced Escort is the Dervish, Griffin and Hermes. I believe there's a variance on the uh, D uh, Defiant, but let me check. Okay. Uh, Cerberus Phoenix Prometheus. Heavy Cruiser is Cheyenne Stargazer, so that's the Stargazer class. Saber, Rapier, and Ushan. Uh, you're not gonna like the the the, the escort. That's pretty ugly. Looking. I might I fine. might honestly sell this because there's nothing in here I want. Yeah, it might be better. Sphere builder. Let me, let me look what that Herogen Hunter looks like. Because that's, yeah, that's purple, which makes me think, hmm, maybe this is good. But in that, I just don't like flying anything that isn't good old Federation chap, you know? Mm. I've got to fly for king and country, see? Oh, it's the, it's the four star Herogen ship from Timelines. Oh, is it really? The one that looks kind of like a bug? Yeah, oh, it actually no, is. No, yeah. no, no, no. Right, I'm going to close that. We'll we'll look at that yeah. another time. I might sell that. You can that... sell it to some poor set. Yeah. Let's open another box. <laughs> okay, Temporal Duty Officer Federation. Temporal. Oh, you got Daniels. Airlocking. <laughs> okay, what else we got? What we got? We got uh, Cross Faction Console oh, or Salvage Console. console. So I've got two of those. That's quite good. Uh, okay, we're 15 keys left. Perk Research. I guess. Yep, okay. And you uh, guys, because uh, you guys are true Star Trek fans, when's the last time you went to DITL.org? DITL.org? What's that? I haven't been there in like 15 friggin' years and I just came across it again. It's some, uh, it's like a Star Trek wiki kind of. Oh, wow, never heard of it. And it's, it's I think... It's been a fan site like forever, and I just found it again looking up Malon weaponry. That is so. I haven't. I haven't heard of this in like over a decade. That's so cool. Hey, Otto, what are you doing? Looking up Malon weaponry. <laughs> I mean, okay. So you guys oh, remember the Daystrom Institute Technical Library? Is a yeah, that's a that's that's a blast oh. from the past for me. I thought you guys would have been there before. Daystrom. No, this is be beyond my time. I've got that on a bookmark somewhere. I, you, I used to haunt X Astra oh, Scientia all the time. Yes, that's what I'm thinking yeah. of, yeah. All right, yeah. can I open another one? It's very similar in terms of UI. Come Anyways, on. I was just thinking the, the Malon sh spatial charges were really cool visually oh, were in cool. Voyager. Mm. I was wondering if they had that in game two or if it was like standard. I would imagine so. Yeah. I think they saw a Malon uh, thing in there. More Borg structural combat ships? Kits, sorry. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, a kit module. I can't lie, man. This is pretty dire. This is really bad. I mean, I, I don't know what to expect. This is this. If this puts me off doing this forever, that's fine. <laughs> a bridge officer training manual. Your lesson. Bridge officer training manual. Never. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't do six hundred packs, kids. A gamma quadrant duty officer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Herald kits. Herald. Those are good, actually. Oh, that are was they? the one that gave me the Guardian of Forever. Ooh. Oh, we'll open that in a minute. Uh, so hold on to that. That's worthwhile keeping. Okay, okay. A research uh, and development pack? Yeah, that that that's your, like... That, imagine if in timelines they could take crew away when you've got a really bad to hold. <laughs> that's what that's like. Wow. <laughs> just just undo your account. Yeah. Let's have a look. A VIP customer. A dilithium mining claim. So I've got two of those now. Yeah. Uh-huh. Person, another personal Ooh. trait. Uh, a kit module. It's not looking good. We've got three left. Three left. A weapon pack. Is that is that event? Is that um, that's gonna be level? That's gonna be level appropriate. Level bound. I think. Uh, no, it doesn't actually. It just lets you choose one. Oh. But I might not be able to use it until I'm rear admiral anyway, because a lot of stuff's locked. A duty officer cadre. Eh? Wow. Last one. One is dice. Last one. Twenty-five thousand creep fleet, fleet credit pool. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Don't do packs in I this game. I love it instead of going from buy another, it goes straight into the buy more keys. Mm. Get it up, hey big. Shoot it up, shoot it up. Um, Moitendise. Yeah, exactly. So we got a lot of crap here. Um, <laughs> what should I... mean, I, you might as well pop all the duty officers, because they're, they're good when they're yeah, like, yeah. Whatever. So let's get my Zindi duty officer. So there we go. I've got Amsoti. Oh, it's an aquatic. He's a oh. anti-matter specialist. 
Use a chance for a gravity well and knock enemies online. Oh, that's right. Can't duty officers give you, like, space perks as well? Yeah, very small chances to buff your abilities. Interesting. Like okay. So let's do my Ferengi cadre. Okay, so I've got Clacker Kerry, Clatter Kerry, an NG weapons officer, Greebira, and Orcax, the bartender. I've got a bartender. He's a bartender. Now. Okay. Hell, well, well, that's fine. Oh shit, did I just know? He's cunning, has an edict in memory, and has teamwork. He's on reserve. <laughs> Wow. He also enjoys long walks on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do these reinforcements. Who we got here? Who we got here? Uh, oh, it's, it just loads it into this massive pool. Rogelio <laughs> Wilma Beale, <laughs> Muriel Kate Peel, Roger Lenny so Hairston. Posts, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Florence Isa Isaiah Russo. Fl Florencio, I believe. That yes, Lena totally Bernardino. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Charles Houghton. He's a geologist, would you know? And Eric Lisa so Chastin. Sounds like an MP with that name. Yeah. Okay. Let's do my temporal duty man. Who's my temporal? Oh, wh wh which one's the new one? Hang on. I think it's that Gareth guy. Oh, look, Luxley. There you go. That's how you know. Where? I got Luxley. Oh, here. hell yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Gareth Adam Luxley. Amazing. Okay, I'm actually happy about that one. What was the Gamma Quadrant one? So we've got... Uh, Okramath. Oh, we've got Yalot Okel. Oh, that's that's the temporal gold. agent. Oh, you got a, 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 a Cardassian. I've got a Cardassian, yeah. On my own ship. And I think that's about it. That's oh, no. the temporal agent Luxley. Yeah, temporal agent Luxley. At least so, yeah. Gareth Adam Luxley. Is that a joke? Versus, no, know. we hate those. <laughs> um, and what? okay, my last duty officer cadre. I just, no, I'm going to assume they're all in here. Oh, no, hang on. It says on the side here. I've got Fino, Safrock, Kells, Zariva, Jude, Russell, McCorkle, <laughs> Tameka, Meg, Kubi. <laughs> there, there, there are three kinds of characters. There's one who have like a single name, like a Spock or a Warp yeah. or a Saru. There are the ones who have two names who are normal. And then there's the three episode people who are yeah. like, hello, I am the Leland T. Lynch of your crew. Yes. Uh, what was that one you said was really interesting? Was it the Herald kit? Yes. Should I open that? So that can give you some dank shit. Let's um, <laughs> it's not... I mean, it's level appropriate, so... It doesn't say it's level appropriate. What about that weapon pack? It doesn't say it. It says yeah. random... Oh, it is it level does. appropriate. Sorry, yes, it is. Oh, uh, the random okay. weapon... You can't read. It's fine. It's fine, it is. Oh, the weapon pack. Shall I do that? Let's have a look. Let's have a look and see what you can get. Okay, okay. A lot. I can get a bowel... Bowel anti-proton weapon. Yeah. Oh, is this ship weapons? Actually, that could be quite good. Covert phaser weapons. Might be. Ooh. And, like, hover over them? We can work out. Okay, hang on. Covert phaser weapons. I don't know, it just tells you you get covert phaser weapons. Okay, yeah, they are ship weapons. Fantastic. Okay. Isolytic plasma. Kelvin timeline Kelvin. weapons. Terran Scroll all the way to the bottom, because that's usually where they put the... the, uh, the, the yeah, purple. I'm going to go down know, that. Purple. A phase tetrion weapon. Nanite disruptor. Voth anti-proton. How the fuck plan. are you going to choose? I don't know. If that's really the know. same nanite disruptor from Armada, that's like the most OP shit ever. <laughs> so. Destroy GUI. I'm kind of I'm, I'm kind I quite like anything borgy. I'm kinda of tempted to go real real borgy. Was a mirror universe link stuff? I'm kinda of curious. Like, does your ship stop dual wielding guns? Like what? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Gosh. It was a Herald anti proton Cl weapon. Close your eyes and pick. That's okay. The only I, way to go. Do you know what? No, I think I'm gonna go for that um. <laughs> Nanite disruptor weapon. That's it. Oh, okay. thank you very much, Spanners. Um, I don't think my trigger's oh. working. Yeah, there we go. Hey, thank you very much for gifting uh, five people. So, uh, congratulations to Racing Liners, uh, Garrett Clank, especially Lines, Astro Studio, uh, Wine Glasses On, and Stars. You've got a sub. <laughs> I got a sub. You got a sub. Thank wow, you. amazing. Thank you very much. That's amazing. Oh, and let's say any, this any is the part where we all gloss over the fact that I wasn't subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you, you, you hate children. You hate charities. You hate, yeah, I hate everything. Them. I yeah. can't stand them. Who doesn't? Oh, wait, I can, I can resub. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to change my lights. <laughs> you got to rag What do you mean resub? <laughs> you let it lapse? No. Yeah, well, I mean, it's... Uh, I uh, bet that... Go off the air for Prime one week. Sub. I go on holiday and just like, oh, fuck this show. I don't care. 
All right, I'm going to go oh, for the man. Nanite I've been, Disruptor. I've been running my own Star Trek stream with, with Blackjack and hookers. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Ooh. Change your bastards. There we go. <laughs> and then it should go back to normal. Oh, you know, you. I'm nearly at twenty thousand hair flips. You know what? What are you gonna What are you gonna ask for? Hang on, I just need to go back to my mm, other. Lines. I don't know. Let's go back to there. There we go. After what? After find out who is gonna be like guesting on the stream and then work out from there. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go nanite disruptor because I like the idea okay. of Borg. Probably terrible. So nanite disruptor weapons. So it gives me another pack. Jesus Christ. Uh, how do I... Your dog, I hope you like patch. Oh. No, no! <laughs> Come on! Hey! hey. Oh, hype train man. coming! Are you an agent? We have a hype train. As I say to everyone, uh, every every sub, everything, all goes towards the charity. With, uh, we're going to have stuff... Uh, always put the financials up so you know how much we're done. But yeah, we're, we're, we've got a good chunk going towards there. Let me find... Where is it? There we go. No, where is it? Uh, why is this inventory system so <laughs> terrible? Because uh, it was created back in like 20... That's very 2009, true. Probably, I've, got actually. I've got a weapon somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, here we go. No, Delta Expedition Kiss. <gasps> uh, oh, hang on, what's that? What about that green one? Which one? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> There's so many green ones. Uh, I know, in fact, the colour was blue, so it's going to be one of the blue ones. Oh, right. hit sort. Hit sort. That'll help. Ding. Oh, there you go, found it. Well, that just made it even more confusing. What's this? Hang on. Oh, Nanite Disruptor weapons. Found it, found it. There we go. So what do we get? There you we go. Get... You sorted it and you instantly found it. So I've got Nanite Disruptor Split Beam Rifle Mark 8. Oh, it's a ground weapon. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Oh, it's okay. Mark 8. So I think I can actually equip that. I should be able to, I think. Yes, I can. Dude, this, and this actually does less... so painful for people to know what they're doing. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's loaded. It actually does less damage than my current weapons. <laughs> but hey oh. I'll, I'll put it on. I'll stick it on my my secondary weapon. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah. uh, right. Uh, what else is worth opening here? What else have we got? We've got... Hang on. Don't want to care about the mining claims or the mark pools. Uh, mining claim. Bridge officer training manual. Not worried about that. Oh, consoles. Should we do the consoles? Yeah, because those aren't level appropriate. They yeah. are just an ability. Nice. Oh, my Ooh, God. Here we go. Okay. Approaching agony. Oh, wow. Oh, plus 15% phaser damage. I like that. Hostile acquisition, shared pressing. Uh, scroll Christ. back up again. Go on. We've got, we start at temporal anomaly. Temporal proje anomaly projector. Wow. My vote is defensive drone guardian. Defensive drone. Where's that? I think you need all the help you can get. <laughs> defensive drone guardians. Oh, okay, do you not want the sticky web? Ooh, la launches four level one guardian drones that will stay near your ship and fire at anything. Yeah, ooh, that's interesting. I like Keep the idea of that. Let's see what else we've got here. What kind of dang a, del a Delphic tear generator, which is something, you know, it's a procedure you can have in hospital, I think. I can't a, actually use a that. Delphic expanse. You're, yeah, you're getting kind of old. You might need a Delphic tear <laughs> pretty soon. <laughs> if I'm not careful and I walk a bit too fast, I could tear my Delphic. Fluidic phase decoupler. A sticky web. Oh, a Tholian <laughs> web. Yeah. You actually create a Tholian web. That's cool. Subspace integration circuit. Oh, I don't know what Spatial I'm doing. Spatial charge launcher. Oh, there That's you go. Your mail on Each stuff, charge uh... deals 5,400 kinetic damage with 50% shield penetration. I do love penetration. Me. I do love me some per fluidic phase decoupler. That makes you go super fast and it yeah. gives you a shockwave when it decay. I think that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. God, there's so many cool things here. This was a good one. I don't know what to get. I, some things I can't use yet because they're, they're rear admiral. Well, hang on. We, did, isn't this one of multiple packs you have? This is. I've got another one. So I quite so like. Pick, yeah, pick the defensive drone thing, and then we'll pick another yeah, one. Yeah, I think so. I'm just, I'm just quick. I quite like approaching agony, which is increased phaser damage. But I'm, I'm interested to go for something that's boronite laced weaponry. Oh gosh. Flanking. Oh, computer assisted flying. Wow. Okay, this is where the cool shit is. Twenty percent all damage. On image hull refractors. Oops. Where, where's the console that makes your ship do a donut? <laughs> a cutting tractor beam. Wow. Okay, let's get these defensive drone guardians. I quite like them. Hey, we've got some yeah. defensive. We'll equip those in a minute. Right, let's do the other one. Uh, no, that's bridge officer training. Cross faction. There we yeah, go. Yeah, Cross faction. Cool. Salvage. Ooh, what should we go for? Sensor burnout. I like the sound of that fluidic phase decoupler or the sticky web. The fluidic phase decoupler. Super fast, untargetable and invisible for six seconds. Disable for six seconds. After six seconds, 
3,000 plasma damage and minus 50% turn speed. For, so I basically go in, just spam everywhere. You nuke, yeah. And then I just go, ah. <laughs> No, no, they do that. They don't oh, they debuff do that. you, it debuffs them. Oh, right. Damage is reduced from the epicenter. Interesting. I think you're kind of talking me into this one. Well, so we got. Unless you want to go for the spatial charge launcher. What's the alpha deception field? Okay, that does. <laughs> Starship stealth creates a trap. Fake, Fake your death! Yes! <laughs> Become untargetable, rooted, and disabled for five seconds, creates a level one lure. Is this like World, World of Warcraft now? <laughs> While lure is active, 300% turn rate to flight speed, stealth, all power disabled, and then detonate. All your timers are reset, and you deal 300 damage, Tetrion damage per second, and hold for five seconds. Where's I... the core might maneuver? Oh, that'd be a good one. Oh, I can't use Sticky Web yet. <laughs> what was Delphic Tear generating again? That was exotic damage. That's already. basically going to create a big yeah. like, like space anomaly so that's going to damage them. I, I got defensive drone guardians, didn't I? Yeah. It's hostile acquisition. Did you just send some Ferengi over? <laughs> I'm going to buy this ship. Uh, 50%. Oh, to target, 50% all damage resistance and flight speed. Interesting. What does a swarm matrix do? Oh, what? Sorry? Oh, swarm matrix. Top. Let's have a look. Um, drone swarm that deals physical damage. Don't you see it? Deploy five drone swarm uh, for 45 seconds. 174 physical damage with 100% shield penetration. Ooh. Mm, penetration. Mm. 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 <laughs> I am. Um, oh, thank you. Well, I got a level two hype train about apparently. Um, don't know what that means. What do you reckon, guys? I'm going to leave this one to you. What do you think I should get? Should we go? <laughs> um, I I want to go with the fluid phase decoupler. Okay. Well, can I use that yet? I'll have to. Might have to wait. Oh no, I can use that. So the, you want me to yeah. do the 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 basically the run in and just spaff on everyone and then go. <laughs> 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 All right, we've done it. Right, now I need to see if I can actually equip these, because I've got... Oh, where did that go? Thank you, Cranky. Oh, that, is, that is the appropriate emote for that. That is. Right, can I, have I got any room to put these on? I can all... I think... What's my universal console at the moment? Oh, yeah, I we can get rid of that. Looking. It's all over oh. you. Yes, Anson, it's yes, all over me. Right, let's pop that there. Yeah, that's fine. So we've got my universal consoles, and I'll have to get rid of one of these. So let's get rid of... 8.8% beam damage for run in and just spur on everyone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can we stop using the word spaff, please? <laughs> to make you uncomfortable? <laughs> okay. Uh, children watch. Oh, okay. Not worry about personal traits. Well, I'll look at those some other time. I think we should do a mission. Unless there's anything else you can remember. Wait, there's a video game attached to this? There apparently is. This isn't just Let's looking through menus. Let's kick some ass. Let's go kick some ass. Oh, I got that. Okay. Uh, right, let's go. Let's go do my next mission, which is I've got to use the gateway in the beta quadrant to enter the Dyson Sphere. Oh, I got to meet Wolf uh, Stars on my last oh, mission. Yeah. yeah, I got to actually Thank play you, with Michael Dord. He's fine. He's good. He's all right. He's, he's ambassador now. Let's go to my ship. Beam me up, Associated Transport Officer, please. Leave the Horta behind. Oh, Horta, Rocky Bell Horta. He's always with me. In in spirit, yeah. <laughs> We'll do a TFO later as well. Do my uh, event. <laughs> uh oh. Right. Oh boy. Everyone's here. <laughs> this is where this is. Yeah, There's always ride. the weird part where you look out and it's like, oh god, what the fuck is that? Yeah. This is where we go and join the. Uh... Oh god, I can't turn as much as they can. <laughs> I'm drifting. Anyway, let's get out of sector. <laughs> let's get out of it. So how laggy would this be on? You said on PlayStation. Yeah, it was pretty laggy. It was okay for the most part, but I can mm. only imagine what it's like now because I was playing it years ago. Mm. So, I to be fair, I've not encountered any real problems with lag or anything like that. It's been pretty good. So I've got to use the gateway, which is over there. Let's go to the Jurit system. I think I can just transwarp there. Let's do that. Transwarp. Because we're in the twenty-fifth century now. Yeah, you can. You can even get the quantum slipstream drive. You can, right? yeah. That make you go a lot faster. I think my yeah. other account has the Odyssey with that. So let's travel to the Solon. So I can't remember what happened last episode, but we basically found there was the 
uh, Iconians are pretty much employing the Alachi, who are those strange creatures from Enterprise, the ones with the weird bulbous heads that are called oh, the shroomies. shroomies. Yeah. yeah, the shroomies. They employed those to kind of abduct people, but it also got to the point. Do you remember Night Terrors from TNG? I entered the room and there was the the table from Night Terrors. Yes. Yeah, and I was just like, wow. <laughs> so something to do with all of them. But we're gonna go to this. Really, is just fan fiction. The video game, really. Hundred percent, and I'm loving every minute of it. Here we go. Just let me know if you need me to turn the volume up. I think you appeared in Halo. Oh wow, where are we? Like I said, in Halo. Okay. okay. Let's Ooh. finish this fight. Oh, I'm in the Dyson sphere. <laughs> Speak with Chief Logistics Officer. That would be probably this person. Oh, no. Just going to flip through them. <laughs> Hello, Chief Logistics. you do. Welcome to the Delta Quadrant, Captain. Delta Quadrant? Okay. A journey that once took 30 years of maximum walk now takes mere minutes. Uh, did we go as far as Voyager did? Not quite. We're on the border of the Delta Quadrant. Specifically, we're on within the Solonay Dyson Sphere, a spherical structure built around a star. The sphere itself has a diameter that is nearly 200 million kilometers, or the equivalent of 250 million M-class planet surfaces. How much of the sphere has been explored? You're looking at it. The sphere is huge, and it could take us a lifetime to completely understand its construction and technology. I'm, I'm going to take votes for what kind of voices you want me to give these people. Um, we're Pack taking. Led. <laughs> We're taking it slow until we know more. <laughs> That's where you come in, sir. We could use help from the Goldstone. That's my ship. Before we get started, though, Sub Commander Kale, 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 I don't know how to pronounce his name, what you, uh, wants you to receive a briefing about Omega Particles from our chief scientist. I think the point where you had to kill him because he shouldn't know about Omega Particles. He's not a captain. Spoilers! <laughs> Ooh, what's this console? Oh, it's my bank. Okay, okay, so this is kind of like a hub, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Any minute oh now. boy. Can I walk on? Yeah, any moment Sam Beck is going to turn yeah. up. <laughs> Talk to Chief. These guys have got an original name. Chief Scientist. Okay, what kind of voice does she have? Go on. Uh, uh, Dawn French. Dawn French. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> no, I can't even say oh, no. that. <laughs> okay, no. What about um, Jennifer Saunders at Bab? Jennifer. Uh, Okay. Uh, oh, hello, Captain. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Carol has asked me to be in brief as there is a lot to be done. We found massive amounts of Omega particles being produced within the Dyson Sphere. Oh, sweetie. These particles are extremely unstable and when detonate they will damage subspace, making warp travel impossible in vast areas around the detonation site, darling. In the past, we've only had to deal with small amounts of Omega particles. Now we have a structure as mass producing them for an unknown purpose. I love AbFab, by the way. Okay, <laughs> AbFab's great. Yeah, I knew that would get a pop. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very popular one. one. Darling, Safi, darling, come here. You know, come let me look at you. Oh, oh Pat's here. Oh, God, he's okay. missing it. Oh, darling. Yeah, but Pat is a. <laughs> Can you unsubscribe asking for a friend? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh look all our viewers have gone okay what is the plan to neutralize the omega particle the plan is twofold we must find and destroy any it's just posh person now isn't it we must find and destroy Yawning. any existing omega particles secondly we must discover whatever is producing them it's such an alarming rate to stop it the federation and Klingons have agreed to join an alliance with the Romulan Republic in order to see this done there's a lot of alliances in this game Romulans are very friendly and pally unless you're sealer these particles threaten us all. This would be simple, except for... Well, perhaps it's best if you hear more from Sub-Commander Kale. He's asked to speak with you. Lots of talking. Very well. I will also talk with him. You have been a good asset. Uh, where am I going? To Do the you next. Think that maybe you could simplify things by having the uh, like all of these NPCs on one person? Wouldn't that be good? Wouldn't that be simple? Less running. Oh, no, apparently I can't run off this cliff. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> but this one. Yeah, there we go. Professional Starfleet go. officer coming through. <laughs> just pull out your gun. That's what they'll know. Oh, no, I this just is a very it. nightclub sort What's of lighting. Can I throw a dollar? Yeah, no, should be passing out pills. Come oh. with the Dyson sphere. How do I throw money at people? Anyway, um. <laughs> I could throw a Latinum chip at that ass. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, who am I talking? Oh, cutscene. Welcome to the Solonay Dyson Sphere. I need to turn that up a bit, don't I? My name is Sub Commander Cole. 
Hang on, hang on. I'm so high right now. Yes. Man. A multi-species task force willing to work together toward a common For now, goal. at least. The gateway you use to get He's here is in Republic himself. space, so the Republic is taking the lead here as well. Our mission: to destroy the Omega particles. <laughs> the way he's sitting in that chair. <laughs> and neutralize its ability to generate more. Edge of his seat. The first scouts into the sphere confirmed that it was producing massive really amounts of Omega shit right particles now. <laughs> for an unknown purpose. Given enough time, this sphere could produce enough. You look so bored. <laughs> Completely annihilate warp travel in all known Just trying not to fall asleep. <laughs> we thought this would be a sweep and clear operation, but we were waylaid by a species known as the Voth. The Voth! The Voth claim to be Ooh. natives of the Delta Quadrant, are extremely technologically advanced, and they want the sphere. <gasps> now we're in a fight for control. The Voth are determined to gather the Omega Particles. We're still determining why, but this is a threat to all warp-capable civilizations. <laughs> I can't stress enough how important it is that we stop the Voth and neutralize the Omega Particles. There's a lot to do. Shall we get started? Uh, what? No. <laughs> okay. Hang on, say. There we go. Is, is Bob talking with him now? Okay, y yeah, this... Oh, hang on. Oh, so are you ready to begin? I will get experience points and expertise. I have new directors for you. Uh, I need to pick a mission. Whoops. Um, I have new directors for you. Please respond. Yeah, hang on. So we're on the Solonay Dyson, so let's... Oh, no, they're going to give me that mission already. <sighs> While the minefield helps the Voth ships from entering Allied space en masse, occasionally the Voth will slip one or two small vessels through their clo advanced cloaking device. We have a ra range of tachyon probe frequencies that can sometimes detect Voth ships, but we need to get up close as any chance of success. We want the Galston to search this zone for any Voth ships that might be hiding. Okay, let's do that. This sounds like... Okay, let's return um. to my ship. This sounds like uh, an actual mission with action and stuff we can do. And yes, that is a Klingon. Oh, he's a Discovery Klingon. Cool. Discovery Klingon, yep. Ooh. A Klingon. We run missions here from Joint Command, the center of all allied operations. This is like really weird. Yeah. This is the supply depot. We use it to ship supplies to our forces and to store any unusual or dangerous technologies we find here. Thank you, Racing, for the tip. This guy gives this me confidence that I could be a voice actor. It is used to <laughs> forces out, although some still <laughs> slip by. There's like everyone else, and there's like the main cast of Star Trek, and you can, yeah, you tell the difference. And this is the ion stream, Ooh. a series of structures moving a high volume of charged particles it's like one of my voice radiation. Yeah, radiation. it is. <laughs> it's a bad sign. Each of these areas could use your help. Good luck. Help, big warrior. Wow, this is. I'm not in space. I'm. This is really strange. So it's like Dyson. I mean, it's kind of cool because I'm in a Dyson sphere. Yeah. But I can't quite. Ooh. There's some Voth down there. Let's go fight them. I can try out my new consoles. Oh, actually, hang on. I haven't assigned my consoles to my hotbar yet. Okay. Uh, hang on, hang on. Need to find out where they are. Fluidic hey, space. Fluidic. There we go. Where should I put that? Let's get rid of that battery. Let's pop that there. And the other one. What was the other one again? I forget. Oh, it was defensive drone. Defensive drone, drone thingies, yeah. I think that's the spaffing? Be... The spa... No, the spaffing's the... Oh, okay. Uh, I think I missed it, didn't I? No, you, there was, you, you scroll past it. It's up. Is it up, is it? Hang on. They're, they're alphabetically ordered. That's what I thought. <laughs> Don't tell them. You never would have been. Boy, drone guardians. Oh, know. yeah. I was looking for a different set of words. Uh, so Reading is hard. It really is. Right, let's kill these Voth with... Hang on, I've got to go down. <laughs> Stupid 3D space. Calm's right. <laughs> Sucks. He's intelligent. <clears throat> right, we're in range of... Oh, come on. Let's get in range, get in range. Right, let's go. Okay, uh, which one was it? Was it that one? Fluix? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> well, okay. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> so, oh, wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. Hey, yeah, you got a little Two yeah, minute cooldown, two minute cooldown. Okay. So what am I doing? Scan for cloaked ships near the supply depots. All right, let's have a look. 
Oh, I need to go over, go over there. Over there. Oh, this big orange circle that says supply wares. Let's do that. It's just weird doing this not in space. This is yeah. This doesn't really feel like Star Trek. This area. That's really weird. Yeah. <laughs> There's no women in like weird leotards talking about their sex lives. It's weird. Nope. Flew under the joint command spire. Okay. Congratulations. Well done. <laughs> I guess. Hang on, we're nearly there. Almost, almost. This is really. Look at this. There we this are. Is... <laughs> nearly, nearly. <laughs> almost at the station. Well done. <laughs> I just love that. Have you ever watched a show called Snuffbox? There's a no, similar kind of scene. No, it's Matt, Matt Berry. Prospect. It's Matt oh, Berry. Okay. Um, there's, a, there's a very similar kind of scene. Where you go, you know, he's doing the deed, doing the deed, and halfway through, he's like, "Ah, that's one your father taught me." <laughs> well, okay. Okay, we need to scan for cloaked ships. Meanwhile. Oh yeah, these, these don't sound. These, these cloaked ships that are being destroyed close. right now. Yep. Who wants to come up and play? Right, where are my guardians? Go, guardians! Go, 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 Guardian. Where am I, Guardian? Oh, wait, what? What's, the fuck? What's going what the on? <laughs> right, uh, let's activate some abilities. Fire everything. Yeah, just fire and Fire everything! I'm guessing these guys are kind of walkovers. Oh, gosh. Wow. I've got a little helper friend. It's a little Cleon. Right, assist the USS Hypatia. In the ion stream. Okay, I've got to go over here now. Oh, turn you bastard! Oh, I took my my shields took a beating. So I've got some abilities here that I haven't played with yet. I've just got, I've got one called Target Weapon Subsystems, which lets you try and knock out their weapons for like ten seconds, which could be quite handy. There's so much. There's so much detail to this. It's ridiculous. Well, I'd almost argue too much detail, but... You know. I would say so. There's like kind of a balance between timelines where it's just like, just press the crew you like, and then this, which is like, initiate the hyper-response impulsinator three times before you can use your ship. <laughs> by the way, if you don't have the right loadout, you're menus. fucked. Yeah, sorry, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> Here's 15 research and development menus. Yes. Can you not, like, Picard maneuver your way to the next objective and just warp there? I am. Well, this is what kind of warping is. This is d full impulse. You only kind of warp when you go between sectors, but we're in a sector at the moment. Okay, so we're going to... Basically, we have to go slow and take in all the impressive modeling work, we promise. I guess. Okay, I'm here. Let's hail you. Okay, what kind of voice for her? For the U U captain of the USS Hypatia? Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Good to see you, Captain. See, it, we were just talking about how Auto has not seen Commando before the stream. What? Yeah, that's I'll my reaction. I'll see it next week. <laughs> I'll see it next week. So many quotes you can't say. See the ion streams. The I think I'm kind of doing more radioactive, man. But okay. Oh, what's his name? Um, <laughs> I was all right. To yeah. lead, all right. Let's, let's switch to Duff Man then. So it's, That's gonna be easier. The energy in them can be rerouted into the power cells of a starship, huh? <laughs> and delivered to the other areas of the sphere. <laughs> Duff Man says that was terrible. Duff Man can uh, okay. breathe. Can oh stop no. That. Okay, I don't know what I accepted. I've got to go store charges from the ion stream currents. Christ, this is... This is scintillating. <laughs> oh, this is, this is top-tier entertainment, this. I'll do something more exciting soon, I promise. I'll go do a TFL. Well, we need to finish our mod, we've been playing it for nine months. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be doing that. Right, I'm gonna Should absorb the ion stream. In the time that we've been playing that I'm gonna game. be taking this ion stream into my body. Right, I've got one. Oh, hello. What's the glowy? Glowy? No, right. I need to go find another one. Glowy, glowy, mm, glowy, glowy, mm, glowing thing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. To the supply woes. If anyone has any clue what's going on, keep it to yourself. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absorb the ion stream. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's some good ion. Yeah. <laughs> that's the best ion yeah. I've had all day. You've had your eye on it for a while. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
This is the kind of low energy this demand. Oh yeah. This is what we play it. I remember when I was playing this, like the DS9 expansion had just come out, and that was really interesting in the right. yeah. this is uh Oh, well done, racing gliders. I like that. An eye on a day keeps the Voth away. Uh, right, I now have to transfer playing? store charges to the walking. Allied Minefield Tower. So that's over here. The, the, what are you saying to me? Uh, <laughs> gotta do some shit with the thing. <laughs> Put the thing in the thing, and then the thing and stuff do what? By the way, is there model collision when you're doing the spaceship stuff? Uh, not quite. Is that really? It's hilarious, you just bounce off it. It's, it's so Armada model collision. It. It's the yeah, same yeah. kind of thing. If bounce off it, do it. Okay. Hang on, let me just transfer my ion stream charges first. Yeah, sure, you know what you're talking about. Sure. <laughs> okay, I did. <laughs> Who's this guy? This uh, it's a raw. Britney Spears. <laughs> Is that your next Star Trek adventure character? But Britney. <laughs> <laughs> Britney. It's Britney, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Okay, they're going to put the energy to good use. Several of the mines have stopped working, and they don't know why. Can, can I go and sort their shit out? We'll do what we can, which means I'm going to go come and crash into you. Uh, <laughs> high warp. For honor! Boff. <laughs> so yeah, Look at that. Drifting. <laughs> Look at that. Let me do skateboard tricks. And we're in! <laughs> okay. Uh, where am I going? <laughs> Oh, I've got to find out why the mines aren't working. Right. Idle, can you oh, please ask... Oh, Frank, Vaseline, there's a message for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the person you need to ask is No Name Namer. When we have cadets in the big book, then they can be added. Uh, they can be graded on flavor text. <laughs> Does did the whales have flavor text? They do. They yeah, do. it's actually quite clever, too. Okay. Oh, I need to go. Like, obviously, the whales were quite well done. I wish we had crew made that well nowadays. <clears throat> Honor Hall, George and Gracie. Mm. <laughs> honestly, that'd be more acceptable. That'd be more fun. Even as a three star, actually. I wouldn't mind another three star honor. Yeah. I'm going to scan the disabled mine. Oh, that wasn't assembled properly, apparently. I think I'm doing the same mission as this guy. I, I like how people are, are, are so, like, it, like it, even in the 25th century, they're still capable of, ah, fuck it. <laughs> the guy in the next ship will fix it. Oh, the Voth are transporting parts out of the mine. And that was the end of the mission. Cool. Uh, thank you for your assistance. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, have some a personal shield or some combat impulse engines. Ooh, I might take some combat impulse engines. Let's have a look. Oh no, I won't. Oh no, I will. Yes, they're better. Give, give me some con combat impulse missions. Okay, next mission. We have more operations outside the allied zone. The contestant zone is right near our borders. Forces engage with the go goth, the voth. <laughs> it's a constant Dude, fight. Dude, no, now I'm picturing the dinosaurs with like... <laughs> eyeliner. eyeliner and piercing. Yeah. Right. Hey, you, 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 I don't like a Starfleet. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of goth music were you listening to? Voth <laughs> music. Fucking Voth, yeah, yes. Voth funk. Voth funk. <laughs> like acid jazz <laughs> Klingon, isn't it? Right, where am I going? Oh, am I going to the... Oh, go to the Sphere Contested Zone. Which I so, think... So, um... Speaking of sci-fi music, are you, um, so, you guys are familiar with Star Wars, yeah, with, um, the music that plays in, in the cantina? <laughs> do you know what that genre of music is called? I do, but I don't know if Auto does. Uh, yeah, I've, I've heard this before, <laughs> but I don't remember, so... It is called jazz music. <laughs> There's a very good, um... It's a Patreon-only thing, but for a podcast I listen called called Dungeons and Jad Daddies, they did. They they played a jizz band in a role-playing system. That was really good. There are five fronts in the zone, and each of them need your help. Here we are fighting the boss over towers that are critical to our control of the zone. I would advise you help only if you have other starships to provide support. Thank you. 
In the center of the contested zone is the battle zone. Commander Arnold is leading the, the ground. battle zone. Commander <laughs> Arnold. Anyone who is willing to assist. <laughs> Make no Zavar, mistake. They do nothing. This. The contested zone is an active <laughs> conflict. Be careful out there. Be careful. Oh God. Ow. Oh, I won. I won. Missing the Allied zone yet? I hope not. <laughs> Okay, cool. I have a new command. Okay, the Omega. Why, why is all this? There is a ground war <laughs> waging as we speak in the battle zone. Commander Arnold is commanding Allied forces in an attempt to gain control over the Omega particle silos. <laughs> I thought the Omega particle was supposed to be like one in a lifetime rare object, and they've got a whole fucking silo of them. Every time I hear the word silo, I can only ever think of one thing, and that's that bit from um, the Simpsons movie. Where like um, Homer gets the pig, and then he's got that that silo filled with pig shit. <laughs> I just think of um, Command and Conquer, like ti the Tiberium silos. In the, uh, dumps it in the lake and it turns evil. Yeah. Unfortunately, Allied forces there are understaffed and under-equipped. Wow, this is topical. Um, they're too far away from the supply depot for us to reliably send supplies to supply sh supp send supplies, supply shipments. Someone could have read that slightly well. What is that? What so, is let me, that? Let me read the sentence again. They're too far away from the supply depot from us to reliably send supply, supply, supply shipments. <laughs> and they can always use more combat-ready recruits. Commander Arnold and Breen his forces. Breen disguised Ducat's flavor text reads, Breen disguised Ducat. <laughs> Get to the transporter. Okay, let's go. So what am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> go to the Dyson Sphere battle zone. Oh, where's... Oh, right, it's in the Are middle. Are you there? Right, that's, there? that's what they said in, in that intro bit. We're all taking the piss. Oh, yeah. that person got an Infinity Box ship like you didn't. Yeah, well, thanks. I've got a tier 5 one, which was all shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, this is some MOBA shit. Look, you've got your bars. Yeah, I, I found know. a photo of the guy who voices Subcommander Cole. Yeah. And he, he doesn't look like Subcommander Cole. Oh, oh. Zero out of ten. Do not recommend. Dear crew, we're currently wobbling because our trails look sick as shit. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> look at my crew. Look at my ship. Isn't that beautiful? That's the design. That's a starship design you could set your clock to. What clock? What? Set your watch to. Oh, isn't that uh, a Chronometer. Simpsons chronometer. Yeah, chronometer, sorry. Um, that's the Simpsons quote now. Here's a haircut you could set your watch to. <laughs> Alright. I'm going here. Am I going in the right direction? I'm just going to fly over here, yes. I mean, this is a great design, but... Oh, I flew through happening. the central spire. Right. Voth... Hang on, no, not yet. We don't this mission do was hell when racing only was played it. You need to take part in a winning battle in each zone. Oh, really? Maybe we'll go do a TFA. <laughs> well, we'll do one. Oh, I get to pick my screw. Let's take my Klingon medic. No, not her. Talodong. I've got a Klingon medic and I've got a Borg. A Borg. A Borg. A Borg. I got the She's Swedish like, Please, Berg. say, Captain, I don't wish to be referred to by that this title anymore. Borg. Our goal is to take control of at least one Omega particle anything like silo. Shorts, Here's how we do it. This is a map of the battle zone. There are three regions, each this? made up of multiple capture points. When the Voth hold a capture point, I've heard it like is the storyline. When we take get control better. of a capture point, it will change but to this blue. This is about as un Star Trek as you can get, really, isn't it? Represented by this meter. Oh, when it is full, we can make our final push to stop the Voth at the Omega particle silos. We must capture at least one of these silos to claim this battle zone for the Alliance. Good luck. Well, we've got a team. Oh, why are you wearing your EV suit still? Things are going well in the battle zone. Brilliant. That's great. We've got new directives. Tower control. Oh Christ! Defeat Voth. Right. Thank you. Ask. Do Cleons have medics? Yes, they do. I will be playing one in our you campaign will. if we ever get to it. So, go to the sphere contested zone. So I don't have to do anything here. I'm just basically doing a big tour of the facility. Yes, why are you wearing your... You shouldn't be wearing that. Get that off you. Thank you. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, he has, to, he has to get into a cat suit. Hell yeah. <laughs> I've got a Borg officer. And I've got seven of nine's outfit. Of course I'm going to put them on. So I can get out of here, can't I? Right, let's do that. 
apparently we're just doing a big tour of all this Dyson Sphere. Stars, tell us more about your Klingon officer you're going to be playing. I haven't really thought much about it, really. Um... <laughs> Defeat Voth around the control towers. So I have to go back down? Wait, what? Oh, space battle. Can you... Yeah, can you do a different mission? This yeah, season? let's do that. <laughs> I think I think we need to go and do a different mission. Let's start okay, the but like... Okay. Should we do... Hmm. Should we jump ahead and go and do the Klingon Civil War? Go fight Loss again. <laughs> <laughs> I can replay that, but I won't. It was like, it was, it was like a 10 Did phase you do boss the Enterprise, battle. Enterprise C mission? No, where's that? Oh, Is that yesterday's mission, war? Uh, I believe so. Yeah? Scroll down a little bit. Uh... Sphere Builders. It might be the next one. Oh, what, the Future Proof? Sunrise. Star and unexplored system near Ferenginar has become unstable. Because there's one where you... Yeah, there's one where you hang out with Yar and shit. Oh, wow, okay. Like, actual Yar. Yesterday's war was so much fun. Maybe we'll do that one, if we can't find this one. Uh, New Frontiers is not Captain Calhoun, by the looks of it. It's Geordie Laforge. What about the Klingon... No, what about the Klingon War and stuff like that? Because I think it's part of that. The Klingon Civil War? We got that one. No, the old one, the Klingon uh, War. I think I've done all of The Klingon War I've done. That's all been gone. Um, I've done... I've basically got, been doing you, them in order. You, because you get the Ambassador class for doing it. Oh, really? No, I've definitely not done that yeah. then. Oh, Age of Discovery is Discovery 1. Gamma Quadrant? No. Do, do a quick Google. Yeah, doing it now. I'd like an Ambassador see. class. That'd be quite cool. <laughs> Terringham is the oh. new one. Unless that was a console thing, because you played it on console, didn't you? Special project history. No, that's a different thing. Uh, well, where is the mission? Temporal ambassador. Temporal ambassador. So maybe yeah. it's future proof. If it's temporal. Given by Geordie LaForge. Uh, part of the story arc of yesterday's war. Okay, yeah. yesterday's war. Okay, we'll go and do that then. Captain Geordie LaForge. Okay, let's go. Let's do that. We've detected an anomaly in the Azure now. <laughs> Because of the Tholian activity in that area, we're concerned that they may be attempting to open a rift to the mirror universe. I need a ship to go out there and check it out. Let's do that. Oh, there we go. Special oh, requisition packs. Jordy's not looking so good. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he looks... I have specialized! Right, let's go and do that. Let's get the fuck out of this weird place. Oh my god, my UI's broken. Let's go. Get out of here. Let's just transwarp through this Dyson Sphere. Oh, sure, now we can warp. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make the rules. Ooh, I mean, how's, how's your Yeah, no, I remember loving this mission when I played okay, it. Okay, let's, like, let's do something interesting. Yeah. Really cool shit. <laughs> um, you know, my Klingon medic, I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with him because I don't get mm. to do... I don't get to play in tabletop often. I have to GM most of the time, so... Yes. Uh, so there's a space-time anomaly in the area with Tholian activity in the region. They wanted us to check it out and see if we can learn. I have it on sensor sort. L sensors in locking in coordinates now. Okay, let's go and have a look at this Tholian... Head toward the space wedgie. Hmm. That's odd. I'm no longer detecting anything in front of us, but I'm picking up a similar or possibly the same anomaly at a new location. Uh, okay, so it's over there. A Wells class over here. Klingon brain wins later. That's another interesting thought. I mean, interesting is one way to call it spanners. It happened again. Launched to a new location. It can't keep doing this forever, sir. Why? <laughs> I think it can. Sure, if it gets <laughs> me, uh, gets me dilithium, I don't care. Oh, Not scanners. again. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Starting to remind me of. Um... Star Trek Starfleet Command, Ooh, oh, yeah. where everything was like uh, on the X axis, and you would fly around and scan something. It would take like five minutes between each stop. Oh, the company is. Oh, there we go. We can scan this one. Oh, good 
Oh, I like the music. Now, Freighter Galston requesting permission to dock at Tholian Base. I couldn't afford a voice actor for this one. Uh, that's your main character, so yeah. No, oh, that's me! Voice. Why is that me? Yeah. <laughs> permission granted you're authorised for docking Bay 3. Wait, what? Okay. What happened? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. This is why it's so much fun. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? Why am I in this outfit? Hang on, hang on. I need to stroke my treble. You look like B4. <laughs> yeah, you do a bit. <laughs> I need Rocky Balhorta as well. I need, I need my comfort comfort things. Okay, let's go check in with Franklin Drake. But why? Talk to Franklin. Let's go. Do you have a question? Yes. What the fuck? I'm back with the Tekasite shipment. Thank you, Captain. The Tholian Assembly appreciates your loyalty. So many ship captains threw away their lives needlessly in the days after they annexed this area of space. It'll take a few hours to offload your cargo. Feel free to grab a hot meal in the commissary. I know that comforts can be hard to come by in this sector. I recommend the Plomique soup. It almost tastes like something. Okay, thanks. Do you need anything else? Well, if you can give me that attitude, no. <laughs> okay. What's that? Who are you? Four of six. Hey, that's one of my officers. Yeah, talk to him. What are you doing here? Hello. Tell me about yourself. I've been here for about six. Is this workforce? No. Has this just turned different. into workforce? <laughs> no. <laughs> Where's the Malco to? Oh, I've tell, suddenly tell become you interested. Look familiar. You look familiar. So do you. Have you been in another work camps in this sector? Yes, a Malco <laughs> <laughs> I think this is workforce. This is work. Yeah, this is no. so workforce. Detan. Hello. I know. No, isn't he the leader of New Romulus? I think he is. For all I know. Is he? Would be informing on me to the Tholians. But if I don't answer, you'll probably tell them I'm hiding something. Speak to everyone with an eye over their heads and you'll get an achievement for it. Okay, I like achievements. Mr. Tom. I was born on Romulus. After the war, I signed on to a freighter crew working the Tholian run. My captain got in trouble with the Tholians, and I ended up here. I'm a true and loyal servant of the Tholians, and I don't want any trouble. <laughs> now go away and leave me alone. I have work to do. Amazing. I have work to do. Yeah, that's that's been the best voice acting so far. Yeah, actually. you don't know. Hang actually. on, there's someone down yeah. here I didn't speak to. Oh no, was that that was? I think that's that's Drake. Yeah, that, that's 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 normal guy. Okay, let's uh, let me just check the map. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So, are you one of mine? No. Are you one of mine? <laughs> are you my friend? <laughs> no, never. Um, okay, I can't get through there yet. That's not a door. Hey, you're short. What the fuck? Okay. And, <laughs> <laughs> short than I thought. Okay, I can't be out there. Right, hang on. Who are you? You are. Is that Zava? No, Slamek. Just jump right in here. Tell me about yourself. Why? Why would you care about me? No one cares about me. I don't even care anymore. Go away. Go away. And leave me alone. Nope. Gonna stand on this table and dance. Hang Just teabag him. Uh, no, but what I can do is I can do the robot in front of him. Look. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Ooh, what's this? Get food. Get food. Ooh. Oh, I may have jumped the gun there. Never mind. Humanoid dietary supplement forty-seven. Forty-seven. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I haven't seen you around here before, Captain. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Richard Castillo? Yeah. That right. did not sound like Shooter. Oh, it's not. D no, it, it's, it's not. I'm going to go talk to some other people. I'll come back to him because I need to. Need to... Can Obersek. you imagine if he did voiceovers free. for Trek games? My name is Obersek. I remember Obersek. He was from one of the Romulus missions I just did. Now we have new masters. I will serve for now. Because to refuse would be my death. But when the time is right, we'll rise up against our oppressors and destroy them. 
If you would be free, watch for an opportunity. The Tholians will He's been their very forthcoming for someone he's just met. He doesn't uh, care. He's like, I, I'm a firebrand. I'll talk, I'll talk mad shit. Ah, Vakel Shon. How can I assist you? He's the captain of the Enterprise F, I think. Yep. I'm Vakel Shon, captain of the Belfast. I run freight for the Tholians. Basic supplies, mostly. But once in a while, they need me to pick up dilithium from the mines on Remus. We're in dock here for a few days, getting some repairs done. Cut too close to the Konos blast zone on my last trip back, and ran into some raiders. Konos blast zone? They won't trouble anyone again. But they fused half my power conduits and fried them. Oh, so this is basically yesterday's out. Enterprise, isn't it? Someone's mm -hmm. gone back and fucked with time. Anything else? Who's this? Tanay? Yes. My name is Tanay. I mean, everyone's just so and friendly. For many years, I served in Starfleet. After the war was lost, I joined a resistance movement attempting to liberate the core worlds. We failed. We were able to keep the Klingons at bay, but not the Dominion and their allies. After the Breen destroyed Earth and the Dominion occupied Beta Z, oh, wow. continued resistance was mm -hmm. illogical. Against all reason, we continued our fight as our resistance cells fell, one by one. You might say I was one of the fortunate ones. I survived. I do Look. you require yeah. anything. Did my uniform survive? No, I have to be wearing this. <laughs> I'm just wondering if I can just quickly change clothes. Oh, hey, who's this? Elim Garak. <gasps> Please be yep. voice acted. Have we met? Mm, is that? <laughs> You're just <laughs> to be polite, aren't you? No. I find idle yeah, chatter I so no. curious these days. Still, it's a way to pass the Who time. Who even thought that was good? Just My don't voice it. Rugen yeah. I used to be a member of the Hang on, he said something else government then. Until I had a conflict with a rival faction. Politics on my world can be quite... He said, like, Rugen something, didn't he? Now, I'm... Hmm. It's better than execution, but only just. The food here is terrible, and the company <laughs> is worse. Another hmm. question? Yeah, right. Uh, I mean, he's, he's, he's got the cadence, but it's not the voice at all. Okay, yeah. Morn. Do you reckon they'll get the voice for Morn right? <laughs> yes. It's a fake! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Wow. Stunning. I'm glad they got... I mean, considering the voice actor, you know, how old he is. Stunning. Hey, it's one of my guys. Hello. You look familiar. Yeah, I've seen you around. Which is one caught cheating in that Tongo game on Drozana. Heard the friend and had his Norsegan buddies break your arms. How long were you out of action? Oh dear. Okay. Uh, who haven't I talked to? I think I've talked to everyone Upstairs, there. Upstairs, maybe? Let's have a look. Oh, there's a Tholian. I love the Tholian look in this. Look at that. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Get fucked, get fucked, get fucked. Right, I am not allowed <laughs> up there. Well, I did like the Tholians. Go fuck himself. I'm just going to moonwalk out of it. Right, I think I've talked to everyone but Richard Castilla, so let's talk to let's talk to old Ricky. Got a minute to talk? I'm new here. I know. I asked around about you, and I don't know if I'm supposed to be telling you this, but I need your help. nothing like him. No, we're not supposed to be here. No. None of us are. Not in this timeline, I mean. My ship, my crew. We were supposed to do something important. We went it sounds through like an anomaly, doing the voice. moved through time, and everything changed. <sighs> okay. We tried to go back. I I guess the battle with the Klingons disrupted the anomaly. Instead of getting back where we belong, we ended up here with the Tholians running everything. I'd never even seen a Tholian before. You Tom have missing. to help us set things right. You have to help us get back to our ship. What are you talking about? Who is us? Me and my crew. There are a little over a hundred of us here, scattered throughout the work camp. We're about 65 years ahead of where we should be, according to my math. We were fighting the Romulans. This was back in 2344. And the weapons discharges caused a temporal rift. We passed through, and because we weren't at Narendra to do what we were supposed to do, the timeline changed. We ended up in a timeline where the Federation and the Klingon Empire were at war, and the Federation was losing, badly. We tried to go back to set things right, but then the Klingons found us in the okay. Enterprise D, and 
there's someone here with us from that timeline. Her name is Tasha. I'll take you to her. Maybe Ooh. she can help explain this. Lead on. Lead on, Dickie. I looked up Chris McDonald just in case he ever did any Star Trek voiceover. Alas, there was nothing. Yeah. Shocking. I, I'm, I can't believe it. Oh, it's one of these NPCs that doesn't run fast enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on, move faster! <laughs> uh, didn't you want to talk to all the NPCs? These guys have I do, I do. Oh, there's Tasha Yar. We'll come back to her. Let's find some more of the NPCs. Who's well, up there? Uh, I'm up there, yeah. Um, who's this? This looks. If you like... don't do it, racing's gonna yell at you. The, the, what yeah. do you want? My name is Bavat. Before the Tholians conquered the Empire, <laughs> I God. was the leader of a great house. <laughs> I sat on the high council. This is kind of the energy I want from our Klingon campaign. More than a dozen worlds. Hey, None of hey, that hey, is all. <laughs> the past is nothing to a slave. I will die here in service to the Tholians. Just like you. Well, he's optimistic. Ask your quest. Ask your quest. No. Uh, oh, who's, this? who's this? This. Oh, Fringy. You looking for something? Tell me about yourself. I'm Farrick. Willin' and Dillin' is my game. Oh, it's Del Boy. <laughs> At least one. <laughs> That's me, Captain. Lastly, Captain. Trade that doesn't benefit them. All right, son, all right. Still, I know how to get a few things. You looking for bonus replicator rations? Maybe a bottle of authentic pre-war Romulan ale. If you've got something to trade, I've got two needs. I've got this tribble. Hmm, oh yeah, this is an MMO. So yeah, who else is there? Anyone else here? I, I think th there's something to your right. Yeah, I think you're right, yeah. I think you're right! <laughs> okay, mm. sorry. This place isn't what it's supposed to be. My name is Neelan. I'm an Alorian. Some people would call me a wanderer. I go from place to place, listening to the universe. To the people, and then I look at the place, and I can't explain it. But it's wrong. All Let me check out that groom beard. Like, you know, supposed to be here. it's got a little pipe I hidden in there. <laughs> as soon as you said yes, it is Enterprise. I, right I was thinking, here. go find the Elorian. That's the only way yeah. out of here. I can't yeah. see it clearly. I just know that something is wrong. That woman over there, does she have a daughter? Someone named <laughs> Pitpassable, I know that's important. Uh, but there Is are she giving birth? <laughs> All right, babe, bro. I'm sorry, it's difficult to put into isn't that, words. Isn't that plot of what Twilight or something? Is that if someone like the asks werewolf falls around, in love with the unborn child or something? I told you about Twilight. I don't want to hear about this. <laughs> what? We're here Dang on Twilight it. talks. <laughs> All right, let's talk to. Uh... Oh God. <laughs> Anyone else? Uh, door. Uh, I think I've got to wait to go through that door before I can talk to the rest. So let's talk to Tasha Yar. We need your help. Now I know that is um, Denise, Denise Crosby. Crosby. Yeah. Fuck me, it's in stereo. Um, <laughs> 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 um, yeah, because I know she's done. What's going on? I'm from Starfleet, and if I'm right, that's a name that should ring bells with you as well. In an alternate timeline from this one, the correct one, Starfleet is still alive and well, and you're a Starfleet officer too. Something of a when the Enterprise C myself. moved ahead in time, it created an <laughs> alternate timeline. One in which I was alive, but shouldn't have been. I left with the Enterprise to set things right. We thought we were returning to the Narendra system in 2344 to defend the Klingon colony there from a Just Romulan be calm. attack. We ended up in this nebula in 2409. This the Tholians nebula. caught us before we could try again, and guess the rest we're going to try to restore the timeline but to do so we need the enterprise c it's still in the hangar here and as soon as we get back to her we'll find the temporal rift and get back to where and when we're supposed to be to do that we need your help well count me in what do you need me to do franklin drake is already helping us he managed to get an access key used to operate the systems in the hangar control room. We need you to get the code from Drake and use it to open the doors to the hangar control room. I'd go myself, 
I'd go myself, but I'm an NPC. <laughs> I'm not a main character, I couldn't possibly. It's not as if I was a tactical officer on the Enterprise or anything. I wasn't a hero. No, I died. Of course, it's not as simple as getting the code and opening the door. Of course. The Tholians have guards on all critical areas. You'll need to slip past the guards and get into the maintenance tunnel. In fact, you know what? That's a problem I have with Warship Yard. She should have the hero trait. Mm, yes, yeah, I'll go with that. From the inside. Once you get in, you'll be able to open the doors. We'll be waiting there to help you free the Enterprise. I'll do it. Here, take this communicator. It's on a scrambled frequency the Tholians don't monitor. And it'll allow it'll me be... to contact you while you're on the moon. Maybe you can convince You'll... someone to cause a distraction. Uh, yeah. That might make it... slipping past uh, the guards uh, into no. the tunnels. Uh, Tasha says, shut the fuck up. <laughs> You'll be. <laughs> no, Warship Yard is already in the trade auto thread for hero and romantic. So oh, thank you. you. I appreciate that. Right. Because I'm a real fucking fan, not a you, fake. You've been real. You've been doing a due diligence. Okay, I'm going to go to the toilet while this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't at all totally dissonant. <coughs> so, so what do you think of Star Trek Online, I, um, Auto? I don't think uh, it's my kind of game. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I tried it before because I, I played a, a ton of World of Warcraft and I played a ton of like, like I mentioned, Starfleet Command is pretty similar in some of the mm. flying parts. So I thought I'd like it. it. Just I don't know. I couldn't get into it. I bounced off it after like a good little while as well too. I do like the fan service stuff, but it's it's really too fan service-y. Oh like, yeah, it just layers on top of each other. It's like, okay, cool, the Voss, and then it's like, the Alachi, and this, and that's like, okay, I can't, you can do one, maybe two, don't do all of them at once. Yeah. <laughs> he he's reminds me of, you know when a cat smells something bad and it tries to bury it with its paw? <laughs> that's what Idol's character's doing right now. Well, that's what the Horter is, it's trying to bury it. Yeah, I went back and watched almost all of TOS mm -hmm. this last month because I was doing so much in events. And the Horda episode is actually not bad. Yeah, it is yeah, definitely. It's, it's, it's 60 with like the, the, the minor guys are so stereotypical. Like, oh, rah, yeah. rah, rah. but outside of that, it's pretty good. Right. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> right. It, it was a work of art. Because, you know, you talk to Tasha, and Tasha's like, you know, I found this Starfleet captain, and then all of a sudden he's just going, yeah, run him back. <laughs> all right. Into here. Ooh. Oh, no, I've been here. Wait, can yeah. I get into the other area? I didn't I didn't see an achievement. Did you get it? No, because I haven't spoken to everyone yet. There's another area I need to get into, which was in here. Ah, the door's open now. Ah, it wasn't earlier. Let's go. The doors do tend to open. It's a thing they, they do. do. Uh, oh no, I have been here. Yeah. Who have I not I'd spoken to? Direction is stronger than ever. Danae, Vashon, Odisek. I've spoken to all down. Forek, Nilan. Speak to Forek? Yeah, I spoke to Forek. Castillo, Tavrel. Oh, Tavrel and Bavrat, I don't think I spoke to, actually. You talked to Bavrat, I don't know if you talked to Tavrel. No, let's go do that. You didn't speak to Star Trek NPC name generate in number 55. Yeah, I was just going to say, they probably should widen their name gen a little bit. Yeah. So, hang on, who am I looking for? To <laughs> just running past this guy and he's got that text box over his head that says this isn't right. It's like, that's a mood. Oh, there we go. No wonder I missed her. She's fucking dead. <laughs> I fucking... Oh, this is like... We're just going <laughs> to... just going to leap up. Hang on, is there a comical umbo I could do right now? Hmm. Jumping jack. Yep. <laughs> wait, look wakey. how healthy and fit I am. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. My name is Tavrel, blah, 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 blah. I'll even cook if that's what the ship needs. Anything to get out of that work camp. You look familiar. I get that a lot. I must have one of those faces. Okay. One of those hey, NPC there we faces. go. We did it. Look oh. how happy we are, but we did it. Woo! Right, okay, now we can go. <laughs> there you go, now Racing Liners will resubscribe. There we go. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, guaranteed that's... it. <laughs> Through the door, over this rock. But yeah, the, the idea is that, like, these are all your, like, big faction names, and then they're here as slaves. It's a bit... Yeah. Interesting. 
Okay. I don't remember Garrick being there. He must have been added like later. Mm. I think. Do you have a question? Yar. There we go. Have a question. <laughs> Take it. Here's a map too. You'll need it in the. No, tunnels. I have a map. I still don't know why I'm risking my neck for this. Don't expect any more help from me. Wow, you're helpful. The Federation fell before I was born. I shouldn't even care, but there's something about Yar and Castillo. I know they believe they can make a difference. Thank you. <laughs> I like this. Thank you. I'll take the risks now. <laughs> Do you need anything else? Uh, right, now what are we doing? Right, ah, we're going... <laughs> you and I've got a cold. <laughs> Where am I going? Uh, into the dark space, apparently. Okay, even though he said, I'll give you a map. I had a map of that area, but never mind, okay. Convince someone to create a diversion. Cold Christ. Convince Bavat, Sean, Obisep, Garrick, and Farrakh. Okay, let's go. Back to the cave. Go, go Barrett, Garrick. Make Garrick kill someone. What? Ready, ready, ready. Park up! You know what? Make Garrick critique someone's outfit. Okay, let's go. Let's go see Garrick. I think it was through here, wasn't he? I want to hear some bitchy gay ass. <laughs> I love that video. Have you seen that edited video of the first time Garrick and... <laughs> yeah, yeah, first time Garrick and Bashir meet, and there's all the, yeah, uh, the little best. text popping up <laughs> the, on screen. The, the, their thoughts running through. Yeah, I fucking yeah. love that. That is so good. Oh, it's the best. It's so good. <laughs> Come on, Garrick, what are we doing? <laughs> it's it's hundred percent accurate. Can you, get a, can you create a diversion for us? And what do I get for risking my life for you? Nothing Did this guy even what? watch an episode Not of DS9? Even a drop of no. Mm. And I know, I'm Someone pretty sure Andrew Robinson did do a, a yeah. voice Yeah. I don't take orders from anyone. Okay. Yeah, it just doesn't sound like even the text isn't Garrick. Oh no, we failed to convince Garrick. Oh dear. Who's going to do our bidding? Tanae? Yes. No. <laughs> Sean? How Sean. Can I assist you? Let's try him. I don't remember the Federation or Starfleet. War was almost over. Oh no, he didn't gone. ever do any voice work. This is yeah, the only I know. One of servitude. Oh, Sean's gonna help. Loss. There you go. I want okay, something. Thanks. thanks. Okay, we have to wait for the diversion. Oh, it's followed to... yeah. Is he gonna start a fight? Yeah, I do think the Tholian designs in are very cool. I like the Tholian oh, EV suit. I serve you. Oh, here he comes. Clink, 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 Look at that EV suit, that's so cool. Okay. Yeah, it is a really cool design. You cannot win, Thorian! <laughs> I'm pretty sure he gets vaporized. Cool. Alright, we're in. Now what? <laughs> I need to enter the maintenance tunnels. Ah, the, you mean the, the Jeffrey's tube? Ah, <laughs> uh, but is Jeffrey's even alive? Is he, is uh, he even really Jeffrey's it... tubes if he's not alive? <laughs> we should call it the, uh, hmm. The Tucker Tube. <laughs> Why weren't they called Tucker Tubes? That's true. Those maintenance tunnels are a maze. They make navigating the Jeffrey's tubes on the Enterprise look easy. Oh. I recommend using the map. Oh, I actually have to draw a map. What doors need to wait uh, I didn't. Okay. When I did this, but... I mean, this made me do maths Don't worry, like, time. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure Cranky and Racing Lines can give you the directions like oh, off the back of the hand, given now how they've been doing. What is this? Oh, look, it gives you a map. You okay, map. that's fine, yeah. that's fine. Here we go. Who loves Legend of Zelda? Use maintenance duct. Okay. How do I get that map back? Oh, view my hand-drawn map. Yes, I'll get to the Deku tree in a minute. Yeah. Why would the Tholians put a system in place that could create a hostile environment for them? The Tholians are very precise. They want to learn everything they can about the ships they're capturing. All rooms connected to the hangars have their atmospheres exchanged to prevent damage to the systems they're dismantling for study. Also, sometimes they force humanoids to do the work for them. Those so bastards. Something we can handle. Okay, let's search this crate. What do we get? A level appropriate a item. Level appropriate item. <laughs> wow, wow, that's like the laziest. 
Seriously, where is my level appropriate item? I want to see what it is. Oh, I've got too many reward crates. I'll find, <laughs> it, I'll find it later. I do know there's a uh, Easter egg that you can find like um, a dead guy in here. Oh wow! And there's some kind of like I think it's oh, no. like maybe a red shirt reference. Okay, so I need to go back this way. Isn't it? No, that's the way I came. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Clearly need that map. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, I, apparently 180 degrees is my weakness. So no, hand drawn, hand drawn map. It's too easy just to press M. Why would they not just put that on him? Because fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the wicked, no, that's what Wicked Realm games say. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, the, most okay. game developers have that feel. You just teleport through Jeffrey's tubes. That's I'm awful. That, I'm that good. I'm gonna close the methane gas vent. I did that. Well, let's let's vent the control room atmosphere. Sure. Anything else I can do? Create an oxygen-based atmosphere. Well, this is easy. Why was that not just one prompt? Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? No, nope, we're good there. Right. What's this way? And this way. Ooh, another one. Ooh, lower ambient temperature. So I just basically got to find all these different controls that. Are for some reason dotted around these oh. human-sized yeah. tubes. Oh, oh. Didn't, didn't like that. Wow. <laughs> really? It them. really is. They should have shattered like they did in Enterprise. Oh, yeah. I'm going this way. Zoom. Hang on. Where's my map? Uh, should we be going this way? Let's just try. You go. Oh. Consult the wisest Tribble. What? Yeah. This is the Easter egg I was thinking of. What? Yeah, there he is. The Tribble chills softly. Elder Tribble. Please share your wisdom. Who? What the fuck were they smoking? The Tribble <laughs> coos for a moment, then rolls gently towards you, looking for food. You realize you're talking to a Tribble. Maybe you've been <laughs> in these access tunnels for too long. Maybe it's the gas fumes. <laughs> what the fuck? See, that, that's why Fantastic. this is a bit more fun than the rest of it, because it's a bit more. It's got a bit more going. Okay, hang on. There's my hand drawn map. So, okay, let's go in here. And then, oh, where did I come out? I think I need to go this way. Possibly. Uh, maybe. Yes, yeah, we're, on, we're yeah. on the right track. We're on the right track. Uh, that button. Yes, no, yes. Right, let's go, let's go. This is, this is fantastic. Why this couldn't just be a corridor? Because <laughs> then there's no gameplay. Oh, there we go. Ah, here we go. There right. you go. I think you're done. Saves more than nine. And look outside the window. Is it gonna be the ambassador? Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's a good chip. Nice, nice, nice. And okay. it's just like the um, the Defiant in the uh, in the Mirror Darkly as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All major friends. systems are still operational. Good. Okay, let's talk to Tanay. I am here to assist. What R do you? Go release the docking clamps. Richard? We need to work together. Uh, restore the what? ship's power levels. Dasha? We don't have much time. Smash! <laughs> <laughs> it's about right, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Dasha, smash. Smash him. Smash him. Smash him, y'all. That's her, that's her <laughs> wrestling name. <laughs> Hang on, I've got to destabilize the energy matrix. That takes a bit longer. <laughs> tip, tap, tip, tap, 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 tip. And now deactivate my Tholian webbing. Overriding security protocols. Can I just say I'm a huge hey. fan? Oh, they're still doing their bits though. Yeah, they're taking their time. They can't uh, nearly be as efficient as you. Uh, what have I got to do? Have I got to help them or something? Hang on. Oh, there's another console to the right, isn't there? Oh, look. No, that's a Jeffrey's you? tube. I think you're no, supposed to dance next I'm to them. I'm changing the targeting subroutines for the No, I literally do just have to wait. Yeah, we'll, we're going to do some funky dancing. Everybody dance now. Let's do... Raise the roof. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> the sound of the fuse. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, my. 
<laughs> Dr. Bean is disabled. All right, Tasha's done. Just gotta wait for these two. I mean, look, look at that leg action. <laughs> you can't teach that in Starfleet. That's just all charisma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> give Fuck me a me. give me a mullet. <laughs> Doss is the leg kick of Richard Castillo. This is the Star Trek experience you were always intended to have. <laughs> oh hang on, hang on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fuck me. Actually, you kinda look like Doug Jones doing that. <laughs> yeah, look yeah, at the legs in it. Are you that's what Mr. Noodle yet? does. Come on! Do I need to give you so some? So I shouldn't. I I should probably tell you, uh, Idol. You had the option to ask them what the speciality was, and they would have taken oh. this time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then come on, we wouldn't have this. So. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Okay, we're there. We're there. We're running this way. <laughs> like everyone's just ignoring me. <laughs> I mean, it's the only right way to go about it. Just like a show of timeless talks. I mean. I'm not going to say it's true, but it's true. Ooh. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there wow. you okay. go. Look at that. Oh. See? Oh. I rushed. She's quite a shame. Oh, you get that moment. There you it's go. too bad we'll have to sacrifice her to restore the timeline. I thought you deactivated all the security S protocols. Sacrifice who? Sacrifice who? Sacrifice the ship. Oh. Mm, yeah. Wow. That is pretty cool, though. Look at that. Yeah. I love when yeah, you go, like, cool. in person size and get the sheer scale of how big these are. Yeah. Okay, cool. let's lower the force field. Wow. Do you want me to do that for you? I know a few things about force field. No, no, no. Don't trouble yourself. Because there's another one. <laughs> we need gameplay. Protocol yes. armors. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about Black Sludge? No fan, all they know. You do know that we could have You have been to a bar all bar. Any minute, right? <laughs> Why is Tasha bitching? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why she's being so an obnoxious. I can just dance for all you care. <laughs> it's not even my timeline. <laughs> I thought we took probably like... <laughs> Starfleet Protocol 547C <laughs> clearly states. I don't think the Tholians have heard of Protocol 547C. Even Castillo is sandbagging it. I think they're like, uh, we have Denise Crosby, should we just have her record some extra lines? Yeah, let's this, do This that. isn't actually her recording dialogue, this is her bitching at the people in the control room. It's like, do you want me to do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, there you go, that's your beauty shot. I, like I mean, there's a hyphen? Yeah. There's a hyphen before the letter? Yeah, in the... yeah no, it's not, <laughs> isn't it? Okay. Some people actually bothered to put that in. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I like the Ambassador Glass. Yeah, I think it's underplayed. I think it's a really cool ship. Oh, look at it. Yeah, yeah. there you go. That's the ship. This is why we play Star Trek Online. Yeah, this is... <laughs> but that's the thing. These, these missions like this are a good amount of fun, where it's not too fan servicey. It's still fan servicey, but it's a little... You know, it's still okay. Okay, what am I doing? Escape right. Tholian base. Let's go. Punch it. Captain, I'm detecting Tholian mesh weavers headed for our position. Let's fuck them up. Yeah. Fuck up. Man, you go fast. I do go fast. Okay, let's activate some of my bridge crew abilities. They're all in different places. I don't know what weapons I've got. Uh, what's that one? Let's do that one. What's that one? Tholian orb weavers on an intercept. We can polarize the hull. That's supposed to be quite good. Let's do that. Let's try spinning. That's a good trick. Sorry, Load Ira Graves into a torpedo and fire it at him. <laughs> fire it well? Please, oh, that's that tactical team. Yes, tactical team. Let's do that. Oh, I haven't even looked at how much weapons I've got. Okay, torpedoes aft, torpedoes front, and cannons. Okay, let's go. Oh, shit. Shields up. Oh boy, there's a lot of particle effects going on. Oh, I've been tracked Let's do attack pattern delta. Uh, engineering teams. 
Golding and Tarantula on This is the problem is oh Christ, we're getting what's that? What's that? What's that? Okay, hit points, more hit points please. There we go, there we go. There you go, one down. Oh man, I'm getting gangbanged here. <laughs> fire at will, fire at will. It's fine. Oh, wow, wow, wow. You, you, you aim the ship pretty fucked so that it's ready for its uh, date right. in the render. That's true. Yes, this ship comes pre-damaged. <laughs> What's that ship? What ship's that? Oh, is that? The is isn't it? No, I think that's... Oh, that's that the was relativity. Temporal, it? Yeah, it's the rel yeah. Oh, boy. What? That is not the relativity. It's the relativity with a rubber paint job. Yes, I will take that. Take all. Looks like you could use some help. Yes, please. Yeah, that's the the 29th century uniform. Yeesh. Get away, get away, get away. Fuck. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that's the Wells class. Is that in that class? Yeah. Right, penetration, tractor beam. More hit points, that's engineering penetration. Team. I've heard the tractor beam's actually a pretty good thing to have on all ships. Because you can just lock them in and just straight uh, well, away. It depends if you want to leave space up before you go. <laughs> What's that to you? Ooh, what plasma cloud? Let's go get in close and do that. <laughs> come on, Tholian recluse. You can come be sociable with me. Haha! -ha! Venting plasma! I wouldn't be surprised if you were forced to do the right in the middle. If it works! <laughs> Alright, All right, Commander Perrin. Purpose being shove it down the Tholian's throat. And then y'all give you the fuck eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we did we did uh, pair him as a fake crew and gave her the primal trait just for that look. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, primal works for me. Uh, there we go, thank you. What's that do? Photonic shockwave. Ooh. Let's get within three kilometers. I attracted me. Basil to partially okay. offline. We'll need to work together to take out this last ship. Okay, give me my. Just from the 29th century, <laughs> how are you struggling? Hang on, let me just get away. The way is goodies. clear, and the temporal anomaly has been stabilized. Head for the anomaly, Enterprise. It will put you back where you need to be. Who are you? How do you know where we need to be? That's my job. The details aren't important. Restoring the timeline is. Get moving. Tholians are already starting to regroup. Okay, hang on, I've just got to take it's, my ship. It's too bad they couldn't get Duquesne for this. Oh, that would have been great. Yeah, I would have liked that. Uh, let's they just Sorry. They got practiced the Shatner intonation <laughs> so so long. So Star well. date 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, point 4. Location, Delta, Delta Quadrant. quadrant. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, anomalies over here. Anomaly? Anomaly. <laughs> Send the USS Enterprise C back in time. So casual. Fly through the temporal anomaly. Yeah. Yay, here we go. I do like they recreate the exact effect that you get from the USS Enterprise too. Mm. Oh. <gasps> On the bridge. Oh. Yeah. That's cool shit. <laughs> Where am I? What am I doing here? I'm sure here? you've realized by now, you're part of a very different timeline. This one is an aberration that we are here to correct. It would be irresponsible of us to let you go back in time with the Enterprise C, and compromise that timeline as well. What are you going to do with me then? <laughs> we'll send you back to your time. There are still some very important events in the 25th century that you need to be a part of. Of course. So how do I get back? As soon as the Enterprise C returns to its correct place in history, the timeline should right itself. Hey, that's my ship. Who? Oh. Redacted. Okay, scan for anomaly. That's strange, sir. I thought I had something on the sensors, but it's gone. 
Everything is quiet, no Tholians or other ships within range, and the anomaly Starfleet Command wanted us to investigate isn't here either. We can debart systems on your orders. Yes, okay, that's fine. Yeah. I, I need a stiff drink and an Elorian. <laughs> <laughs> or a stiff old Elorian and a drink, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Prince Upperding does that as my buzzer condition. That's strange. Well, they got their money out of Levard Burton for that one. <laughs> yeah. Ah, well, okay. he says we're invested in Commander Cole, or whatever his fucking name was. Cool, I got the Ambassador class, Enter yesterday's Enterprise uniform, and 567 Dilithium. Yeah, so the Enterprise uniform is literally just the TNG Greetings. uniform, but you get that like, shiny yeah. belt. Ray. I'm a temporal agent working to preserve. Okay, I'll time. do that another time, I think. Uh, I'm gonna do. I think we'll do a quick uh, event mission because I need to do my daily to get my well, Borg Universal d uh, Dispersing Nanoprobe Assimilator. Um, what should we do? Should we do Infected the Conduit or Kitama Vortex? Kitama Vortex. Kitama Vortex. Let's join and see if we get in a queue. Oh, I've got some skills I can purchase as well. Yes. Let me. Um, so the only unfortunate thing is that Ambassador class is locked at, th at level 30. Ah, oh, that sucks. Um, but the thing is, it's like, if you do the progression exactly as they give it to you, like with the Klingon or whatever, then it comes at the point where you're like, I'm really bored of my current ship. And then you get the Ambassador class and it's fucking cool. And oh, you okay. upgrade not long after. So that's kind of the problem with going back to it and not having played it. Oh, okay. So I'm basically... But you do now own it. Okay, yeah, no, I'm happy to own a, a, a good ship, that's what, that's what I like. So I'm now in a queue for this, Do -do -do, which I can find somewhere. So yeah, there's a few more. So is that, Go on. Is that Admiral Quinn is in, uh, like, uh, Blue Gill Quinn? Or Where are you looking? <laughs> oh, here we go. Contact Admiral Jorel Quinn. Oh, no, it's, I think it's a descendant. He's like, you uh, must have seen him. He's like the, the Earth Space Force sort of. Probably, I don't remember. Starbase, sorry, not Space Force. No, Steve Carell will just turn up. Whoa, yes. what the fuck is that thing? That. I don't know. So that's the new, that's the new Federation Romulan hybrid. Weird. That is the IKS Black Squad. <laughs> Looks like a a, a Vod Devil. That's a Klingon ship, basically. A Vod Devil okay. support carrier. Look at how tiny my ship is. <laughs> That's a Jim Hadar ship, I think. So, this could be another attempt to Wait, his grandfather was there? What, Wolf? Oh, yeah. Interesting. Who the fuck is that? Okay, these guys down. are just popping off abilities now, and I'm just like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> oh, he's, yeah, he's Alexander's son. Wow. Alexander had a mate? Yeah, I'm looking at who he married. Oh, I think she hasn't got a page because she doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. I'm unshocked. Okay, I'm gonna def launch my defensive drone. Yay! I did the thing! Go team! Whoa, okay, let's go team. Whoa, everyone's going. Go, 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 go. Let's destroy this ball drone. Oh, nope, forgot how to drive. Fuck. <laughs> well done, Idol. Wow. Yeah, th th this is what you get when playing event ships. Everyone's just fucking lit. Oh. I'm going in the first. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins! Three, one, Leroy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's do this. Let's go in. Let's go, 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 go. Do my thing, do my thing. Bloody hell. I can't control this. Boom! <laughs> there yeah. you go, you did it. Wow, that was very hard to control. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Spears. Running it. Okay, I'm gonna die in a second because. Yep, nearly dead. Where is everyone else? Okay, they're at the other place. <laughs> Let's get out of here. You were like, Leroy, and then you were unprepared for the concept of Leroy. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna get out of here for a second. I'm gonna try. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nope. Nope. I'm not strong enough. Help me. <laughs> He's fire torpedoes. You I do don't have, have any. Fire phases, they right? would be in Salt on Tuesday. Actually, I'm, I'm destroying it. It's fine. Let's, let's turn this back. Let's turn this back on. 
tractor beam. Yeah, got him. Oh, jeez. Right, let's that and that. Big fat phasers. Love my fat phasers. Enhanced weapons. Put your fat phasers. Oh, yeah, you got to have your fat phasers. Look at that. Where's everyone else? Okay, we survived. It's good. Assimilate this. Jesus, that was loud. <laughs> I mean, it should be. It's, it's, it's how you get the right energy from it. Are there some phasers on a transworld combat? Sure. I don't actually have any torpedoes. So I'm doing the whole. An all beam. I was wondering equipment. why you weren't flying any torpedoes. No, I've only got that... I've only got beam weapons at the moment because I've got wow. uh, tactical consoles that only enhance beam weapons. So if I have torpedoes, it just doesn't help. Fair enough, I guess. Yeah, I've been, I've been reading all the pro strats. Mhm. Mm <laughs> just not employing them. Oh Christ! May not want to go in first here. Fuck it. Move at once. Just gonna fire everything. <laughs> Oh, do your, do your fluidic thing. Oh shit, yes. Let's do that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh god, I can't control it. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. There you go. Okay. I don't know if I do anything there. I will put some more drones out. Ooh, pierced veil? Okay. I've got a pierced veil now. Can you pierce the veil? <laughs> okay. Donatra of Borg. Okay. <laughs> this fanfic from bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Get her off. What the is screen. going? Oh my god! Why is everything what white? Fuck it yeah. out. Wow. Oh wow! Uh, I took some damage. <laughs> That's Fuck. a lot of damage. Is someone setting off a nuke? I think we've got flashbangs going off. This is turning into Call of Duty now. <laughs> Rainbow Six Siege, never <laughs> Yeah, this is yeah, this is what events look like. It's I just... love watching the experience points just floating off the screen like <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's just so much going on. <laughs> you can't God, half the time I'm God just like standing you. back just watching it happen. I'm just like if God God help you if you've got ever like please. Just, just someone just comes in, just destroys it. They've got some elite build. Look, Tholian webbed it, and Christ. No name namer is a train conductor now. Choo choo. <laughs> there we go. We did it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We won, guys. Oh, and I am now a different level. <laughs> We have not seen the last of Denatra of Borg. <laughs> the words you weren't expecting to hear were Denatra of Borg. <laughs> Why? Why? Because she would add to perfection. Yeah. Uh, um, wow. The beauty mark certainly does, I suppose. Well, <clears throat> oh, I got some. We did some stuff. Oh, who will be joining the crew of the USS Goulston? Shall I have a Klingon engineering candidate, a Klingon science candidate, or an alien tactical officer? Uh, Klingon engineer. Klingon Lana. engineer. Yeah, that's true. That's <coughs> Cadet Corona. <laughs> <laughs> Corona. I'm not sure if you want to beam that on board or not. <laughs> get, get the bio wow. focus working over time. I won't use her, but yeah, let's collect my reward. <laughs> oh god, she needs some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, just... <laughs> I just took these drugs, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to join if you wish me to join? Choose not now if you want to decide later. 
Not now. <laughs> <laughs> you can pick her up later. I'll basically get her in my inventory. Pull her somewhere. back in. She ain't done yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's somewhere in here. I can't remember where it is. It's somewhere stations. I think. Oh, there we go. My candidate. So I, I can turn her into. I can turn her into an, a training manual if I want to. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> Oh, I think it's been quite good. Uh, guys, thanks for joining me. It's been fun. Um, I kind of like getting your humorous perspective on this, because usually it's just me ranting and doing stupid voices. So. <laughs> Auto, oh, you've been quite mute through this. <laughs> Are you okay oh, there? <laughs> Taking no, the SDM experience? I don't know anything that's going on, you know? No, so I'm me just either. watching along. We got to pilot the ambassador. That was quite cool. We've got to open some boxes and got shit all. <laughs> no, you got you got a tier five ship. That's not uh, shit yeah. all. Gotta love a tier five ship. All right, um, we'll be back tomorrow night with chill out stream, which we need to give an A really at some point. Ah, <laughs> um, uh, you've had several great candidates. We have. I need to go through them and then check. And <laughs> and <laughs> everyone's watching <laughs> to see what you will do. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow night for that, because, you know, we can't stream on a Wednesday anymore, but we can stream every other night. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, back on Wednesday for Time Lost Talks and all that jazz. And, yes, please yes. go to the Discord and vote for the charity you'd wish to, us to support on the charity stream as well. Anything else, gentlemen? Nope, saving all my best banter for tomorrow night. Oh, so. yes. You will have food stories and have my oyster experience. <laughs> have we story have to. I don't talk about oysters. I don't want to talk about them. We don't. <laughs> um, yeah, see you tomorrow night, guys. Uh, ciao for now. Bye. Bye.